This is Public, the outdoor show dedicated to those people that enjoy getting out on large tracts of land, large bodies of water, competing with other hunters and fishermen, sharing good times with friends and family, and enjoying our natural resources. Welcome to today's episode of Public Outdoors. Today we're going redfish fishing on Pine Island Sound. Come along. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon and we're launching into Pine Island Sound at the low tide and we're looking for tailing redfish. So we're hoping to find some fish pushing up in the shallow flats as the tide comes in. And as the sun goes down, things will cool off and hopefully these fish will get real active. slopes up and gets really shallow. Uh, so I'm going to get my fly rod set. I'm going to pull up into that shallow area. See if we can find any fish tailing feeding. This gurgler fly, it floats on the water and kind of pushes awake and skip it around, it looks like a shrimp trying to get away. So I threw this on those two fish that were kind of moving away from me and got one to turn and start following it. And he was kind of staying underneath, pushing awake behind it. The last second he jumped at it and missed, both of them spooked off and left. So we're gonna keep looking. I'm gonna stick with this fly. It got, it got their attention, which is good. Hopefully the next one will find it. Today we're throwing a gurgler fly, which is a surface fly that mimics a fleeing crab or shrimp or something at the surface. And it's using that to try and get the fish's attention. They've got their heads buried in the grass. They're rooting around for anything down in the mud in the sand at the bottom. And the way that their mouth is oriented is perfect for doing this. So they have a hard time coming up to the surface and getting their mouth wrapped around that surface fly. So while we did see tons of fish today, it was kind of hard getting them hooked and, and getting that fly in their mouth, but seeing them come up to the surface and exploding on a fly like that is what it's all about. That was a cool fish because he, as soon as the fly landed, he made a big pop on it. And I just missed.
So today was really exciting because we came out here with a goal in mind to find tailing fish. We picked this time on this day because of the conditions we had and the fish were there doing what they were supposed to be doing. The key to the fish at the end of the day was switching to the subsurface fly with a rattle. That was able to get their attention and they were able to find that fly and get it in their mouth. Today was a huge success in that we found lots of tailing fish, a lot of shots at fish, and while we, we missed a lot of them, it was still so cool being out there with them, uh, watching them feed, watching them attack the fly. Uh, there's nothing better than watching a fish come crashing towards a fly that you tied yourself. And that's half the fun. While you may not always catch a ton of fish, it's always a good feeling to know that you predicted where those fish would be and what they'd be doing. That you can go out there on another day, match those conditions, and go catch some fish.